Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm and yeah we're in the third week of June second to last week before the big harvest starts to kick off in July and we've got a bit of a busy day ahead of us we've got some contracts we're going to be doing so we've got two ten contracts don't know why that's come up as that that's only come on as of loading in now I'm going to take the precaution on that one. So, Ted in Garden Centre. Pine Creek Bells for signage. So, we can do 127 as well. So, we've got 64, 65. However, I'm getting 104 and 105. So. Not sure what's going on there. Yeah, it's not even the plot number or anything, so we're gonna have to investigate that in a bit. So let's explain why the money's gone down quite significantly. So first of all, we've got the tanker down there, and we filled this up with twenty thousand litres of diesel. Because back at the farm we sold the old diesel tank and we bought some fresh red diesel and a bigger storage, so that's that. But the main purchase, or purchases, plural, is we are going to be supplying this farm. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, one and a half thousand years worth of herbicide. So that is 7,500. That's going to last us a while. Also, we got 20,000 years of fertilizer. And we've got two, four, six, eight thousand years of seeds and lime. Or eight packs, so eight thousand liters, sixteen thousand liters of lime. And if we head over here, we've got another thirty-two thousand liters of lime and another eight thousand liters of seed. So at some point today, we will come back and get this all loaded up. So I think if we borrow the shop's forklift, so we could either use this one here, or I think we could go with this one here. I think it's going to be a lot easier with the pallet forks. Get this all up. And we now got permission by the dealership to borrow the trailer. That's why we're down here. Just quickly grab the dealer in the morning. Spoke to the assistant and basically said, we want all of this. We bought it last night. It's just arrived today. And we're going to be picking this up at some point today. And we've got permission to borrow the Volvo. So I'm thinking, yeah, easy to get three pallets on there. So three, two, yeah, I think we'll be able to get everything on here. But yeah, so we'll come back and, what should you know Should we do it now? I think, let's do it now get out of the way with because yeah we've got contract work to do and that's just so we need to boost up the funds a bit more so but anywho if we say can I get two on at once and that would be ideal. Yeah, we could just about get two on. So, thinking like so. this one. If we can try to sack some of this then we will. But yeah that's gonna be a difficult part there of stacking these. Especially the pallet ones here. I mean, these are gonna be difficult. So I want to get all this on first of all. 
see where we stand and then get more of any other product where it is required so like so that is perfect get straps on there the lime's gonna be difficult if you know what let's try the other one because yeah four tons they're absolutely heavy And obviously we're going to pay a fee for the ship and that to obviously borrow this. Okay, this is a big, big one here, so. These ones like, are like, specifically for like the, uh, what's it, the containers that you can get. So that's why it's quite bulky, so. This on there like so. So what I'm trying to do is double I pick up all four in one go. That's twenty tons we're asking here. So let's go see how this stands a second, if you bear with me. So righty, it's lifting two pallets, five with no issues. Let's see how it handles four. Whoa, up there. That pallet went on the skits there. Oh no, it's pallets is not happy with me there. I'm not I'm not going forward, I'm, I'm pressing back and it's pulling me forward, so okay. Technical difficulties here. Let's just stick with two, so there we go, we'll get those on there. thing with pallet works it's very tricky to deal with at the best of times especially when you get it glitching or phasing through Got this one here it's stuck see it phasing through so again bear with me whilst I get this blade down pallet off So I'm having issues with that particular one, so we're just going to go back to the trip one here and just use this one here. And we're barely just able to get this on. She's just like swinging. No, behave. Didn't have an issue with the other pad just now, so why you're being difficult now? But yeah, so I think the easiest way to get this all done is in a little time lapse, so I'll just get this everything loaded up. Hopefully this doesn't go too bad and there ain't any cuts. But you can never know. So yep, yeah, I will get this all loaded up. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards. Let's just get this moved out of the way as well.
there we go, as we are going along like what, 23 FPS here, so we may cut this bit here short, but so anyways, as I said we got 7500 years of herbicide, 16,000 years of seed, 20,000 years of fertilizer, and a bit more than I actually expected, but 48,000 years of lime. Also, might as well down a bit, as you see in the time now, so you've got rid of some old logs and that, or old trees and that by the farm. Got a little bit of money back for it. I wasn't going to make a profit or anything unless we did a serious wood chip in, but wood chips here aren't really worth it as such, so I thought I could just leave it as it is for now. But yeah, so, anyways, we got the seed, lime, herbicides and the lime stores down. We're going to have extra lime about, but that is fine. We will just use them. Well, use them when we harvest the linseed fields because that needs plowing. So once that's plowed, I'm sure it's going to need lime. So, but yeah, just such a really long. Yeah, definitely 30 FPS here. So. We'll cut to the farming act and then we'll get it all unloaded. And there we are, we're starting to run lagging like hell for it, so let's just get this all unloaded. So we've got lime, fertilizer seed, and then the stop, stop, stop. Just gonna let all this unload in. Shouldn't take us too long. But I think once we get rid of a couple of bags, it's gonna be a lot easier for us to deal with. There we go, so we get rid of the line first of all. I should have fertilizer that'll be gone in a sec. So yeah, these hold 35,000 liters each. I think this holds like 75, 10,000 litres or so. I think things like the herbicide and that, that's going to last us a while anyways. And there we go, that is the furrow is gone. So I think what we'll do next is start finishing off some of these contract works just to cover ourselves a little bit for the expenditure and that we had to do. Alright, so the herbicide ain't going in. have to deal with that in a sec, so let's go to 650. Got over here just in case we needed it. Yeah, you know what? Let's go and get this diesel unloaded. We'll get it unloaded. And not have to suffer out bloody 23 FPS. Let's do this at a smooth, nice and crisp 60 FPS. But yeah, I think contract work going to be the task for today as well as next week into the last week of June and it's going to be a similar thing in July but obviously we'll have our own harvesting to do not too sure what we're going to do with our money at the moment whether or not we pay the 475 off I may pay at least a quarter of off so like 135 what? I am interested in the grass fields for silage. 241 and 59. 185. Tempted to get that field. <laughs> 
No, Eggy, we're we'll going to buy it. That'd be our size field and that. Yeah, I know it's about paying the loan off and that, but trust me, trust me, bro. It's got to be worth it. We do a few cuts of silage and that. We don't need silage for ourselves at the moment since we've got plenty in terms of bells. Yeah, it's sort of the best time to sell silage, it's more so in the winter and that. But even then, that's what we may do. We may just put the silage in storage. Find somewhere to put it. Maybe get a little silo in place that uh, would allow us to have silage sorted up. Whether it be at the farm, whether it be somewhere else. The world is our oyster on that part. So you can buy this here. So how much is that? 40 grand. Decent little grass for there. Get some of these contracts done and maybe looking at that. But I think with these. So, yes, yeah, 104, 105 on the PDA on the left there. So, that's what my thinking it is. So, it's 104, 105. Get those contracts done. So, yeah, here is our new large diesel tank. It just. Oh, I'll say it just about fits. Subjective, that is. There we go. And now we'll grab the herbicide. And we'll just unload it that way. Is that full? Yeah, that's full, so. 13,000 litres of light. What are we going to do about that? For now, I think we'll get it unloaded. Yeah, I think we'll get it all unloaded. Put somewhere for now, even if we leave it out in the open. Anything interested in the use market for us? No. What was the cheap lime spreader? Nine grand? Twelve grand. And that holds nine thousand litres at thirteen grand, so actually we'll do some of these contracts and then we'll get that filled up. Yeah, we saw I have lime left over, but you know what we can put in storage, so let me just get this unloaded in a sec, and then we'll start doing some contracts. Actually, first thing we're going to do is, I got this out because I thought, oh, let's go and mow the grass field. However, I think we did a contract on this field, uh, what was it, last month, so it is still growing. See, it's got no fertilizer seat at all applied, so let's go and change that. We'll get it fertilized. So at least it's got one application down. There we go, just make sure we get all of it. But yeah, we'll do this and then we'll go to 104 and 105. Yeah, 104, 105. Because what's it again? I've got to remind myself. So 104 is the telling contract. I've 104, 64, but we'll try 104 first of all. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, 104, not 64 now. And then we'll do the two size contracts, 65 and 127. So 127 is by a store up there, so... Yeah, missing the edge bits, we'll go over them afterwards now. Just for now, we'll get the main width done. So yep, we'll work on this, get some of these contracts done. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards.
so we're in July now. That means it is harvesting season time for us. So what we need to do is quickly take the Volvo back to the ship. We did pay a grand to have it for today and that, so I think what we'll do now is drop this back to the dealership. And we'll explain where half our money's gone to. Basically, what we've gone done is bought the lime spreader. We did buy the cheap one, we bought the slightly bigger one with the better capacity in that, 14,000 litres. And even with that, with lime working out, it's going to consume it quite quickly. But it's something we need on the farm, and as well as get rid of the not the pallets, like the big bags of lime. So, but yeah, we do have access to the ship, so we can unlock the gate, drop this off, and also since we're there, I think our 650 was there. We sent that over there last night, ready for the pickup. So not just a spreader. Also, we got and leased the combine header and subsequent header trader. Helps if I open this. There we go. I think if we part this up, roughly where we had it before, if we can. Yeah, that's a bit tight there. You know what? We'll just park it around the back for now. We'll leave the keys somewhere under the visor or something. And then we'll set the shop now, give them a text message saying we've dropped, dropped it back and the keys are such and such. They may want a payment for overnight, but yeah, that's something I've got to speak to when they actually arrive later on. Apologies, sir. So, yeah, as I was saying, we've got the 650 here. We've got the header trader. So, what contracts have we got at the moment? So, only four contracts. And we accepted three contracts, all for wheat and all going to the farmer's market. And then we'll quickly do 117. So, the plan for the next episode is going to be we'll head up north head along here and around and then we'll head down and we'll do what was it 113 and 132 so 32 so you yeah, head up here quick do 32 with a 10 meter header it's going to take a few minutes and I'll go down do 113 and then we'll come back down, do 35, and then I think because it'll go to where? Let's have a look. It's the farmer's market. Where's that to? No, it's up there. It's one of these up here, right? And this is up here. No, that's Pine Creek. Ah, wait a minute. Farmer's Market. So yeah, it's got to go all the way back up north. So I'm thinking when we come out through 5 in the next episode, go along, up the main roads. We we go back all, all the way through. And Bob's your uncle. We're at the Farmer's Market, so... We've got 650 here, and um, no, sorry, no 930, not 650. 650 has got the trailer, but obviously we'll swap because I doubt that 650 will be able to pull this with the load. So, and then we we'll get the combine over, and if we have a look at all the fields. So, bunch of fields ready to harvest. And if we look at the crops, it's like linseed, linseed, wheat, barley. 
or at least feels down here. Yet again, we eat some barley in that. Our canola field or rapeseed field 109 is ready. 59 is not quite ready yet. But I think what we'll do with that is we'll wait and we'll just do both fields together. It's actually what is the value of canola at the moment? So it's going down and down. We could just harvest it. But I think what we do is we'll harvest our own crop and that all together. So just go up there somewhere. Actually no don't. Just go to there. Because the workers, they tend to have a struggle with that a little bit there. Not sure why. I would take this over ourselves. Ah yeah, we'll just make sure we lock everything back up. Yeah, shop's going to be open in, what, three hours time? Dealer will probably get here about eight o'clock or so. But yeah, what we do in sec here is just give them a quick text message. Careful. But yeah, so anyway, mates, that uh, is where we stand. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But first you do, hope you have a But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.